Hello friends, welcome to your Monday Storytime Short. I'm Miss Abby from the La Crosse Public Library and I'm here to give you a quick dose of story time. We'll read a book, sing a song, and then hopefully we'll see you again tomorrow morning for a longer sto story time with me. All right, with that said, let's get started. Today's book is called Red Shoes. Do you see our friend wearing red shoes? by Karen English, illustrated by Ebony Glenn. And you can see the beautiful colors on our front papers. They're all red with squirrely, squiggly and swirly designs. Red Shoes, A Dazzling Journey. Red Shoes, Dazzling perched on a pedestal in the shop window as if on a throne. I want those, Nana, Malika says to her grandmother as they pass the shop. We'll see, Nana says with a wink. Looks like you could use a new pair. Do you see all the shoes, friends? Which shoes would you choose? I kind of like these green ones. Surprise! Red shoes nestled in a shoebox under tissue paper on the kitchen table. Nana smiles, her secret smile. Malika laughs and slips them on quick, quick. What's that silly kitty doing? Kitties like to go inside boxes. Red shoes walking, click, clack, click across the floor on Malika's feet. Swish, swish, swish around the living room. Click, clack, clack down the hall. Then out the door and around the block. Malika goes to show off her new red shoes. Carefully, carefully on the first day of school, Malika walks in big galoshes that hide her shoes from the rain. She wants to keep them dry when she jumps in puddles. Do you like to jump in the rain and in the puddles? Savvy loves to splash in the puddles and run through the rain. Red shoes dancing on daddy's feet when they go to auntie's wedding in the fall. Red shoes kicking cousin Jamal under the table at Nana's Christmas dinner as he tries to snitch Malika's buttery biscuit. Red shoes stomping home when Malika and her best friend Keisha have a fight. Malika is mad and sticks to it. Red shoes jumping double dutch at Keisha's birthday party after they make up. Then... Oh no, red shoes pinching when Malika squeezes them on to wear to Nana's birthday dinner at a restaurant. My shoes are too small, Malika says sadly. And all through dinner, her red shoes don't let her forget that her feet have grown. Red shoes in the window at the resale shop where Nana and Malika have taken them to be resold so somebody else can enjoy them. Softly, softly, Malika says goodbye to her wonderful red shoes. 
They were her favorite shoes ever. Do you have a favorite pair of shoes? Or maybe a jacket or a sweater or some other article of clothing? It's hard to say goodbye to it when it doesn't fit anymore. Ina Zaya spies the red shoes dazzling in the shop window. She knows just the little girl who will love them. Now they are squeezed into her luggage, bound for Africa. The shoes are on an adventure. Red shoes under Ina Zaya's bench in the marketplace where she sells her clay pots. They are waiting for Amina, the girl who fasted half the month of Ramadan, the girl who deserves a special gift. And here she comes at last, holding her mother's hand. Ina Zaya smiles down at Amina. I promised you a gift and here it is. Red shoes are passed to Amina's waiting hands. Thank you, Auntie, she says. They are so beautiful. Then later, red shoes riding on the tro, tro on Amina's lap. Back at home, Amina's little sister, Halima, rushes to see the gift for the girl who fasted half the month of Ramadan because someday she hopes to do the same. Amina lets her try them on, but just for a little while. Halima will have them soon enough when Amina's feet grow too big and Halima's feet grow big enough. Now the red shoes are tucked safely under the bed, waiting to be worn on very special days. Meanwhile, back on the other side of the ocean, Malika wonders, whatever happened to my beautiful red shoes? I wonder if someone is wearing them right now. The and that was Red Shoes, A Dazzling Journey by Karen English and illustrated by Ebony Glenn. I hope you enjoyed that book, friends. It's kind of magical that those shoes traveled all the way around the world and both girls were so happy to have them. All right, can you help me sing a song? In our song, we're gonna sing about colors, but we're not gonna sing about shoes. We're gonna sing about fish. So this song is called Bubble Bubble Pop. And we're going to take our hands and we're going to turn them into fish. Can you turn your hands into fish with me? We're going to squish them together and then they're going to swim in the water. Can you wiggle your hands back and forth? Very good. And then we're going to take our two pointer fingers. We're going to swirl them around because these are our bubbles. And what do bubbles do, friends? They... Very good. So we're going to sing bubble, bubble, pop. First, we're going to have one red fish, one red fish, then two blue fish, then three yellow fish. And each time they're going to blow bubbles and the bubbles will pop. Do you think you can help me? I think so. Let's get started. Let's sing bubble, bubble, pop. Ready? One little red fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little red fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Two. 
Two little blue fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little blue fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Very good, friends. Now three. Three little yellow fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Three little yellow fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Very good, friends. Can we sing that one more time now that you really know it? So we'll sing it a teensy bit faster, okay? So we have one red fish, two blue fish, three yellow fish, okay? Let's try it, ready? One little red fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little red fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Two little blue fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little blue fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Three little yellow fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Three little yellow fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Very good, friends. You did such a great job. Thank you for being little fishies with me. All right, friends, that's all I have for us today. Remember, tomorrow I'll be back for a longer story time at 10.30. And then we have a longer story time at 10.30 on Thursday and a short teeny tiny story time at 9.30 on Friday. So you can join us for any of those. I'll also be doing yoga at 10.30 on Friday morning too with Miss Barb from Palm and Pine. So you can join me for that. Just sign up for the Zoom link on our website calendar. All right, friends, I hope you have a lovely first week of spring, and we hope to see you for a program soon. Bye-bye.